Do you struggle with change or do you welcome change? Do you find transition an exciting part of your life or do you dread it like the plague? Would you like to know how to get better at transition and make it as seamless as possible? We're going to be talking about that and so much more in today's episode of Going Deeper. Welcome to today's episode of Going Deeper with John Morris. Join the show that voyages into the deeper subjects of life, from mental and physical health to emotional and spiritual well-being. But that's not all. John also goes even further into more focused areas such as anxiety, depression, weight loss, and fitness. This is the only place to go deeper in your self-discovery journey. Now please welcome Mind, Body, and Soul's very own, John Morris. Hey folks and welcome to this episode of Going Deeper. I am your host as always, John Morris, psychologist in training and a coach for the creative mind specialising in teens and families. Hoping you do well wherever you are in the world today. Today folks, we are talking all about transition and with that in mind, we've got transitions that's going to be happening at the end of the show. So make sure to stay tuned to find out what's happening. But before we get there, let's focus on you, shall we? Transitions. What is a transition? Again, we've always got to define what a transition is so as we know what we're talking about and in which context we're speaking about it. A transition is literally the end of one way of being and the beginning of a new one. The end of one way of life and the beginning of a new one. The, the end of one part of your journey and the beginning of a whole new chapter. Did you know that every beginning has an end? Many people don't. Think about it like this. When you are born, for example, it's the end of pregnancy. When you're a child, it's the end of toddler and infancy and baby stage. When you're a teenager, it's the end of infancy, uh, it's the end of toddlers and child stage. When you are an adult, it's the end of teenagers. When you're you know, a parent, it's the end of your free and wild stage. When you become a grandparent, it's the end of your parent stage. And then when you become retired, it's the end of your working life stage. Every beginning that we have starts with an end and then you know ultimately when it's the end of this life it's being of a whole new one because remember we are spiritual beings spiritual beings are eternal we're a spiritual being having a human experience so let's move on to point two shall we Everything in life has chapters. It's really, really important to recognize the chapters and know which stage you're in. If I can give you any advice, the takeaway from this show is this. Don't miss the new parts of your life where you're trying to hold on to the old. You know what I mean? You know, times when you were, you know, maybe a teenager and you did amazing sporting or athletic stuff. For me, I was a bodybuilder. I loved being part of the scene of bodybuilding and competing and being on stages and doing all that kind of stuff and being rewarded with trophies and all the praise and everything, which if you've been on the uh, Mind, Body and Soul podcast, which you see on Fridays, then you will know all about that. That's one thing that I, I found difficult. Then it was youth work because I found youth work was a place where I had acceptance. People understood. People wanted to know. And, you know, and, and oftentimes when we, when we try to hold on to our old way of being, we miss the amazing things that are going forward. And sometimes situations can happen in life that leave us very angry or very frustrated. And in that anger and that frustration, if we don't deal with it, we don't deal with it promptly then we can actually spend, as I did, five years of my life just being angry and frustrated and annoyed before finally, in 2020, bang, something clicked in my mind. And I was like, wow, I don't need to be angry about this anymore. I don't need to be frustrated about this because I took action. Remember, if you want to get from where you are to where you want to be, you've got to take action. It's really, really important to do that. A transition in your life is inevitable and you can hide away in your bed, you can hide away in the closet, you can stay in the bathroom as long as you want but at some point you've got to leave the bathroom, the closet, bedroom, wherever it is and transition into the next phase in your life. We're going through transitions all the time and they're nothing to be feared. In some ways they're to be welcomed because it's a new and exciting way to be. It's a new and exciting opportunity to live. It's a new and exciting opportunity of what could be. And yes, it can be a little bit scary, it can be a little bit overwhelming, but once you've got all the information, see, I, I want to finish this in, 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 um, in not so many words. A lack of certainty or feeling overwhelmed is usually because we don't have all the information. We covered this a couple of shows back. When you feel overwhelmed, it's because the big thing, it, or, or the thing seems so big, that it's like, oh my gosh, how do I cope? How do, how do I get around this? Find out all the information. 
welcome the transition and then go forth into the day and it's amazing it's amazing what can be but transition sometimes is hard and I understand that sometimes it's difficult letting go of the old way of being to bring in a new way of being especially if you enjoy it that is why folks we're meant to be here it's almost like school we're meant to see and as experience as much as we can of life but then when the transition time comes to walk forth peacefully harmoniously and go into the day because amazing things can happen when you welcome the transition into your life and you greet it with open arms and with that being said folks there's a number of different transitions that are going to be happening now first transition that I want to talk about just before we wrap up the show for us so as you guys know and this will be in a separate video as well so you can share this video if you will um, we are building something very, very special at the moment at Mind, Body and Soul. We are focusing on teenagers and families to coach in particular. It doesn't mean we won't coach other people, but it means that that is our main focus. So don't freak out if, you, if you're really desiring life coaching with me or with the team. You know, we're here for you. Um, and it's really important that you know that, but we are focusing on teenagers and families. Specifically teenagers. Now, why am I focusing on teenagers? Well, I'll tell you. I was a youth worker for nearly two decades of my life, okay? I went through some difficult experiences when I was younger, and it's really helped me to understand teenagers. It's really helped me to understand their mind and where they come from, to be able to read situations really, really well. To give you an indication, folks, of how much teenagers need our help right now, I did a show the other day which was announcing my... Um, desire or my intention to go back to university and that will happen in October that's when my course begins October 2021 I'm doing this folks because I don't know if you're aware but to give you some st statistics easy for me to say statistics um, every hundred minutes they say in the Western world a teenager takes their own life before the age of 18 between 20 and 40 percent of children have experienced severe depression and probably about 50 or 60 percent of, of teenagers between 15 and 20 have experienced severe depression that has gone undiagnosed. Many teenagers around the world are struggling in horrific conditions internally and they don't know what to do. They need our support in the most amazing way possible and unfortunately that support has not been there. So we're announcing uh, a big movement that we want you guys to be part of as well and, and you can check out the video that obviously comes along with that that goes a little bit more into detail as to what teenagers are facing and what their struggle and why this work is so important. But we're starting a movement called Join the Cause and this is an amazing transition that we're going through. We're getting really focused now in mind, body and soul as to what we want to do and who we need to help. We want to help teenagers and that's why there is going to be an additional show that is going to be on our network and it's going to air on Wednesdays and it's called Bridging the Gap and I'm going to have an amazing co-host in this show. Uh, she's a singer, she's a songwriter, she's an amazing musician, she's wonderful, beautiful and talented and her name is Sean Clark. Um, um, Sean I'll be introducing to you guys in a few weeks. Um, we're still just working out the details and everything, but I'm really excited for the project that she and I are going to be working in. It's a, teen it's, it's a show essential that's made for teenagers by teenagers, where we, similar to what we do here with Going Deeper in the Mind, Body and Soul podcast, we actually address a lot of the issues that teenagers are facing and help them to find ways to cope to overcome and to go from striving to thriving and that's really what we want to do and if you want to be part of that I want to encourage you to check out and support us on Patreon you can check it out now you can be supporting me through university where I go for my bachelor in science in psychology and we want to give my body and soul as much oomph as we can it's an amazing thing what we're doing folks and I'm delighted to be the one to present this to you but before we go any further, I think it is time also for a change of dress, a time, a change of venue, and a change of a lot of things. So let's move from the beautiful blue background, I'm a little bit sad in this, and let's... Nope, that's definitely not where we want to be. Uh, nice, but no, not quite feeling it. We need something warm and happy. Visualize, 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 and 
There we go. That's perfect. That's perfect. So folks, this is going to be the new home of going deeper where you're going to be able to see us every single week and I think also I, I need a change of attire as well. What, what do you think? Let's see, shall we? Let's you feel more relaxed as well and I should see so as I can see a little better as well that um, I'm now all kitted out of my glasses. It feels really, really strange sometimes when you're going through a transition. When you shed the old way of being. But remember this as we close here. If you really desire to change your life, if you really desire to change who you are, I firmly believe that a life-lasting change cannot be made while holding on to any part of the past. When you shed a belief, when you shed your being, as it were, you shed that skin that you've had on for so long, you get a brand new beautiful skin that has no attachment to the ways and beings of the past. And that's exactly what we're doing. So folks, we welcome you. We want you to join us again this time next week for another exciting episode of Going Deeper. Don't forget, as always, to like, share, and subscribe. Share this with your friends, because it could be the very thing that they're needing to help them with the struggles that they're facing in life. You can support us on Patreon, where you can see, you can sponsor the show, you can sponsor me through university, you've got an amazing opportunity through group coaching and also through one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. And folks, you can support us from eight pounds, which is $10 a month, okay? Now that is literally less than what you'd spend on a cup of coffee, okay? Maybe a little bit more, but on a week's worth of cup of coffee. And you're contributing to something amazing. And folks, if you support us, you will get some amazing things in return, trust me. We're developing a lot of things right now. Not only the movement of Join the Cause, the aim to end teenage suffering, but also some other amazing things that are out there. They're going to change people's lives around the world, and you are part of it. So until the next time, folks, this has been a great episode of Going Deeper, all about transitions. Remember, everything that we do has a transition. Welcome it, open it, bring it in warmly, and you'll be so much more blessed in doing so. Everything that we're against halts and hinders us. Everything that we're against can be flipped around to be positive. And we've covered that in other shows before, but that's another topic for another day as well. Have an amazing day, folks. I've been your host, John Morris, the psychologist in training and the coach to the creative mind specialised in teens and families. Have an amazing day, guys. Take care. God bless. Do you, your son or daughter, struggle with direction, clarity and purpose? Maybe you struggle with anxiety. Maybe you struggle with self-esteem or confidence issues. Maybe you've got great ideas, but you've no idea how to get from where you are to where you want to be. Don't worry, you're not alone. People around the world struggle with these issues. Hi there, I'm John Morris. I'm the coach of the creative mind and I'm also a psychologist in training. For the last two decades, I've worked with people from all walks of life and all over the world, all with a wide variety of issues. I've worked with people from youth groups to adult education to people dealing with day-to-day -day living issues. And each one of them has an amazing story to tell and we've helped them get clear as to where they are and clear as to where they want to be. And I want to help you too. Unlike a lot of life coaches and therapists that like to drag things on and leave you dangling on the carrot, I want to make sure that each and every single time that we meet and have a life coaching session together, that you never ever leave saying, man, that was a waste of time, or I didn't get the value that I desired. I am committed to making sure that each and every single time we meet, you are one step closer by the time we finish to a goal that you have in mind. So why should you work with me? Well, let me tell you, as I said, I'm committed to making sure that I provide value, that I provide something that's step-by-step -step and easy to follow. I'm also a fantastic listener. I've been blessed with the gift of listening, and I love to listen to people, their stories, their, their dreams, their desires, because there's nothing more energetic and passionate to me than when a client gets their first desire, or they get that goal, or they hit that big target, or whatever it might be, and also, as the trifecta, I am committed to you to helping you take action. So whether or not it be deciding on the university you want to go to, deciding on the course that you want to be at, helping you get excited and passionate about your work environment, whatever it might be, I am committed to helping that happen. I'm also committed if you need to shed some pounds, if you need to gain some muscle mass, if you need to, I don't know, develop your self-esteem, I'm committed to helping you take action and following a step-by-step 
plan of action that we can put together. But now folks, I want to tell you about the Early Bird Special Offer that we are launching right now. It is for 10 people and 10 people alone. That's right, if you are interested in having life coaching sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, 10 people have the opportunity to do that and we're looking to help these people change their lives completely. We take ages 14 and upwards, so if you're interested in learning how to get from where you are to where you want to be, to do really develop that passion to live a life that you enjoy as opposed to a life that you wake up thinking, ah, oh, you know, how to develop and change your mindset from maybe a negative one to a positive one, understanding what fuels your mindset and understanding what creates the kind of life that you want to live, then get in touch with me today. I would love to hear from you. As I say, this is open only for 10 people and once it's done, it's done. So click that box below, get in touch, let's have a conversation backwards and forwards and see if we're a fit for each other and I look forward to working with you. Have an amazing day folks, take care, God bless, and I will see you soon.